it's all back up at Let's Allotment and I'm going to do a quick tour because there's loads of things doing really well. Um, he's going to do a potato harvest as well in a bit but we'll have a quick wander around and see how things are doing. First off we're going to look in the shed and all the onions are now hung up to dry out. So that's looking awesome. There's a few in there as well. That's class. Um, out here, we'll go down the left and come back up the right. We've got some outdoor tomatoes. Plenty of tomatoes on them. All looking good and it's trying to rain so I'll be as quick as possible. Uh, some lettuce going into the pots where other stuff's coming out. Got a nice courgette on there and a nice little um, butternut squash there. More tomatoes. And we'll go and have a look because Ben's just pulled one of the fennel. Let's have a look. This is all where the onions were, I think, looking at that. Very good. Nice size as well. Lovely fennel and all. Uh, more lettuce. They've just harvested some of the runner beans. Some of them. Some of them, yeah. Which is still, one still one plenty one. there. Yeah. And there. Uh, Maras and stuff. All good. Sprouts are looking good. And it's a port mine at home. Um, so, there's a random sunflower just growing in the middle, but looks going to flower. Kale and stuff, more beetroot. They look like they've just gone in. Uh, more beetroot. All ready to harvest. Look at the size of that. Brilliant. Lovely. Parsnips. Kale and the collies. Oh, there's some nice ones. Corn. Only as big as me, that. Fennel. And some pumpkins. Lovely flowers. Uh, in here, comfrey's just massive again. The apples, some of them are getting lovely size now. There's loads on. Let's have a wander in. More apples. More apples. Gooseberries are just about finished there. And the pears. And they look like plums, don't they? Cool, right. Rhubarb, still plenty of that. Strawberries, the amount of strawberries they've had is ridiculous. Um, we're going to get some of the runners off them this year because the amount they get is just ridiculous, like I say. Taties uh, are all starting to die back now. So we're going to harvest some of them in a bit. In fact, they're waiting for us now. I can see them all looking at us. Then hurry up. More taties. And more lettuce and runners. And we're back up here, so we'll just have a quick look in the greenhouse. Because this new greenhouse has done absolutely marvellous. Jeans. Look at them. Look at that. Spot on. Absolutely laden with tomatoes. That's the stuff. Awesome. So, right, I'll let them get set up and we'll do a potato reveal. Right, so that's going to do his potato reveal, and these potatoes are Charlotte's. Right. Oh, and there's a few there.
Gut. Ja. Oh, he's just under five pound. Like literally just under five pound. Five pound. Nice. That's a good, That's a good haul of Charlotte's. Another potato reveal. And we're not sure what this one is. Lot thinks there might be a ticket in there somewhere, but let's have a look and see. This. Estas. 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 Nice potatoes. Oh, aye. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, oh, a bit of scab on the lack of water. Lack of water. I thought I kept them well watered this year, but some nice clean ones. Just over nine and a half pound. Get closer. Yep, I can see it. Lovely. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, um, pot number two. This pot is Kestrel. So let's see what we've got in this one. They're a lovely potato kestrel if you've never grew them before. Highly recommended. Well done. Scarb. Scarb eye. Hmm. Some nice ones in, but a um, couple there with scarb on. The rest of them look clean, don't they? Then again, I tried to keep them well watered this year. So mm -hmm. If you don't water them, keep them well watered. Then it's this year, I tried to keep them. Too. For this one, I think there's many in there. Yeah. Yeah. About four and a half pound. Four and a half pound. <laughs> That's still not bad. All right. Just using the potatoes I had left over from last season, which were potatoes around this size I put in, seed potatoes from last year, and would return on that, I think. Yep, I'd agree with that. Especially out of that pot though. <laughs> Nine and a half pound. It's good. Out of 30 litre buckets, folks. Look at these outdoor tomatoes. In the northeast, you know. Yeah, top of. They might not ripen, but that's a lot of tomatoes for an outdoor plant. Right, so potato reveal number three for today at last allotment is some desries this time. And uh, this time in the homemade pots. So that's a pretty good haul. Let's go give them away and see what the score is. Right, first pot. I've gone right round, so 10, 11, nearly 12 pounds in the first basket. Plus. Another nine pound. Um, Twenty one pound is that? Twenty one pound of Desri's. <laughs> awesome. Excellent.